You can't write code. You're not an engineer. You're not a designer. You can't put a hammer to a nail. So how come 10 times in a day, I read Steve Jobs as a genius? What do you do? Musicians play their instruments. I play the orchestra. This movie's about the person and his personal dealings with people, what he kept inside of himself, where he might have been coming from. What if, instead of it being in the right hands, it was in everyone's hands? From when we started Apple, he was going to be the person in, in control, running things in the suits, representing the company, the face of the company. The plan will reveal itself to you when you're ready to see it. Steve was not a technical person. He was building a machine that he wanted for himself. One that was so easy and you could just look at it, you could actually do things without having to learn all the structured math and computer stuff. Serious users want to customize. They want to modify. They want to jack it up. They don't get a vote. What every person is good at is what they value. And I value engineering. I was really good at it. But Steve, how could he contribute to a product? And it was the marketing, the explanation, and also wanting things to be simple. He was the, the master conductor, and that is good for the world today. See how this reminds you of a friendly face? It's warm, and it's playful, and it needs to say hello. More than anything else, Steve Jobs wanted to be the person known for it all. We're not a pit crew at Daytona. This can't be fixed in seconds. You had three weeks. The universe was created in a third of that time. Well, someday you'll have to tell us how you did it. Steve Jobs is known for having some negative personality um, characteristics. And do you balance the good with the bad, or did the bad lead to the good? The new trash can is wrong. I want to tell you I appreciate all the hours you put into it, but I can't because of how terrible it is. I think history's got to remember him as one of those great technical leaders of all time, just like um, Edison. He might also be remembered for his negative personality. I think that's going to go with his legacy forever. But he led the world in the future, and, um, and everybody else then would follow once they saw it. Look at their faces when they see what it is. They won't know what they're looking at or why they like it, but they'll know they want it. I think about a part of Steve Jobs that almost nobody knows, which is Steve Jobs Zero, I call it. It was Steve Jobs before we started Apple. And the fun times we had, the pranks we played, the laughter. I'm the only one that knows that this guy here is someone you invented. He really, quite a bit, manipulated his own legacy. Any chance I can get you to go out there instead of me? <laughs> I love you, Steve. I love you too, Oz.